<clears throat> this way is the axe the best one tool option the other day when I was doing the uh, the bow stave and I was about hotter than a firecracker is about 90 95 degrees outside and about 98 percent humidity <laughs> no breeze <laughs> and I made the comment there is no one tool option still believe that but um, one of my uh, viewers made a comment that his one tool option was an axe and I, I forget who it was so I'm going to put his his um, um, channel name in, in, in this video so that give him credit because I think it was a very very astute observation on his part and I think the more and more that, that it, it, thinking uh, of what I do on camp. I use the axe more than I use anything. Um, I clear my, my campsite with it, uh, get all the brush out with the axe, I get kindling with it, I do feather sticks with it. Um, there's really n nothing on camp that I don't do with this axe. Um, The belt knife, most of the time, is in my pack, <laughs> in my hunting pack. So if I if I do when I do, I say if when I get that big buck, then my knife is in my pack. I, I very seldom use that knife uh, on camp. I, now I do it on videos just because that's what I do. I make knives, um, but realistically. I use the axe more than I use anything. Uh, I usually have just a small uh, neck knife either in my pocket or around my neck. Um, when I'm wearing t-shirts I really don't like a neck knife because I don't like the cord around my neck. But but anyway, uh, I'm using a little rat tail skinner if, if uh, you guys are curious. I love that little knife. I've, I've started to use it more and more than I uh, did the uh, um, the homesteader or, or the boning knife or any of that. But see, I mean with an axe, if you got it sharp enough, you can do the fine feather sticks. And actually, if you use the weight of the, the axe or the hatchet, it's easier. Um, if you keep your tool sharp, then, I mean, it, it's just it's a piece of cake. Now, looking back, and, and Canterbury has, has done a very thorough job of bringing back these people, Horse Kephart, Nesmuk, and, and um, uh, just to name a couple, of the, of the ones who, who really shined during the glamour camping era, uh, late 1800s, early 1900s. And if you look at their writings, which I've been looking at their writings for years and years and years. So, basically, their belt knife was for butchering game, period. And camp chores, that was it. Or not, not camp chores, but kitchen chores. Period. They, they never used that knife for anything but that. Um, everything else was done with an axe. Or a belt axe, or a belt hatchet. Is what some call it, um, and with good reason, because it is it is the uh, the nearest thing that I can think of to comes to a one tool option. Um, there was a video on YouTube, or I hope it still is a video on YouTube, but I saw it uh, several months ago, and and um, I, I I just never got out of my my mind. I, I keep thinking about about it back to it and uh, it was a Canadian um, documentary I think it was done in the 60s or somewhere along in there and if I can find it I'll put a link in the description below but um, it was um, they wanted to know if an indigenous or a Canadian Indian if he was stranded in the wilderness with just an axe how well could he survive 
And so the scenario was they dumped him and, and a crew member off out in the middle of, of nowhere with just an axe. Of course, the crew member had a camera. But, um, that's all he had was an axe. And you would be amazed at what, what he did with just an axe. I mean, he built a fire, fire plow and had flame in no time. I mean, it was just amazing. And that's the difference between knowledge and skill. And, you know, you can have all the knowledge in the world. You can read as many books. You can watch every YouTube video that there is and have the knowledge. But what we all strive for is the skill. If you have the skill, then that means that you can do just about anything that you, you, you need to do and, and thrive in the wilderness or, or whatever you choose to do. It doesn't matter what the skill is. It could be at your job. You can know how to do your job, but if you have the skill to do your job, that's a totally different thing. So, anyway, just a, a few few words about the axe, and it got me to thinking, and actually looking looking on it, um, especially out here on this camp. I'm on a hunting trip right now, and and um, everything I've done on this camp has been with an axe, and. And most of the camps that I set up has been with an axe. This little uh, small forest axe from Redlings. I mean, it just, it's a phenomenal little axe. The other axe that I use is the Hudson Bay uh, style axe from Collins, Collins Axes. No relation. <laughs> I don't think. <laughs> but uh, it's, a, it's an old antique. And um, I use it and I use this one. Fantastic axes. Phenomenal tools. Some people say that I've heard it said that they don't use axes because they're they're dangerous. Well, <laughs> uh, I find it uh, amazing that that people think that I mean driving a car is dangerous, so you shouldn't get in a car. You couldn't leave, you shouldn't leave your house if you were concerned about danger. But I think the 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 main thing is that you got to learn to use the tool. And there's plenty of, of uh, safety videos out there. Ray Mears has a great one. Um, uh, there's some uh, old forestry uh, videos on YouTube of, of ax safety that's just fantastic videos. So watch those videos, but then you got to go out and you got to practice this stuff. You, you can't just say, well, I've got the knowledge. You still also got to have the skill, too. So uh, don't leave it at knowledge. Go obtain the skill. So until the next one, you guys be safe. Practice all these things. Uh, learn to, to use your tools and use them at their optimum ability or your optimum ability. Different tools lend itself to, to easier tasks. And uh, just like using an axe, if you were to cut down a tree, what would be the easiest way to cut that tree down? It's a saw. The next thing would be an axe. The last resort would be a knife. <laughs> so different tools lend themselves to different situations and, and to get the optimum performance out of your tools is what I'm trying to say. And the best all-around tool, one tool that I can even think to consider would be a one-tool option is the old trusted axe. What do you guys think? So until the next one, uh, get in the woods. Go with a long stick. If you do take plenty of band-aids and lots of knives or an axe. Just take an axe with you. We'll catch you on the next one.